My name is Colin Hagna, and I'm the leader of the band Federale from Portland, Oregon. And we play music that's inspired by spaghetti westerns from the 60s and the 70s. A spaghetti western is an Italian western film that was inspired by the American western. What the hell knows God? In American westerns, the good guy wears a white hat and the bad guy wears a black hat. Whereas in Italian westerns, no one is either good or bad. They're all somewhere in between. The greatest of the spaghetti westerns were directed by the filmmaker Sergio Leone. The big trilogy that everybody knows is the Man With No Name trilogy. And those are the Sergio Leone westerns that star Clint Eastwood. That's right. Fistful of Dollars, For a Few Dollars More, and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. The soundtracks to these films are written by Ennio Morricone. He is an absolutely fantastic film composer. He's worked in a lot of genres, but the genre that he's most known for are the spaghetti westerns, like The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. He would bring in a lot of mariachi trumpet calls in the background and electric guitars. He would bring in a lot of orchestral aspects, big drum hits, choirs chanting and these operatic vocals. It's very Italian, sort of inspired, I think, by like operatic music. It's very dramatic. <laughs> Federale's been around for almost 15 years now, and we started this sort of on a lark. Trumpet's amazing in this. That's some good trumpet playing. Yeah, trying to recreate these is insanely difficult. Me and a couple of my friends had a band that had just broken up, and so we decided to form a new band, but we didn't know what style of music to play, and we had just been sitting around watching these movies. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly was on a constant rotation, and it was just natural for us to try to, like, emulate that. We were just sort of screwing around for fun. I didn't really have any idea how serious it would become. We come up with a story and a couple characters, and then we come up with themes for each of those characters. And we try to develop songs based around those themes. And as the sort of story progresses, then we're able to like bring those themes in and juxtapose them against each other, almost like the characters in this make-believe film are interacting with one another. We kind of became the band that would score these films that don't exist. Very nice. I started meeting people who are actual filmmakers, and they were looking for that kind of music, uh, but like original new stuff. I met this director, Anna Lily Amarpour. She would send me a rough version of the script, and I would sort of come up with little pieces for various characters or various scenes that I thought might be cool. And then she would have the music in mind when she was actually filming and editing. That's how we sort of started being in real films. Her film debuted at Sundance, and people absolutely went nuts. And then we did the music for her film, The Bad Batch. She has a new film coming out later this year. Kate Hudson's in it, and we've done some music for that as well. I think it's gonna be really cool. And then we've done a bunch of music for a new documentary that's about a community of black cowboys in Compton. The documentary is really, really interesting. We also had music in the first Lego movie that came out a few years ago. So that was a bit of a blockbuster turn for us. Wait, where are we? We just released a new record, No Justice, on Jealous Butcher Records. There we go. What's up? What up? And we've been touring to support that. And so we're kind of making the rounds and spreading the word of the new record. A lot of people have thought of us as this specifically spaghetti western band, but I like to bring in a lot of other genres as well.
have trumpet and we have these operatic vocals and, and the whistling is a big part of it as well. And chimes and just all of these fun sounds that you don't normally hear in a rock band, but they sort of exist in this world of spaghetti westerns where you can have guitars and, and strings and horns going at the same time. It's cool. A lot of our topics are very serious. We deal with scenarios and films that we're imagining that are a little heavy, and so it's good to have some levity in there. And I think things like the whip crack and the occasional smirk off to the side gives it a bit of fun, you know? We definitely take ourselves seriously, uh, take the music seriously, and you have to take yourself seriously. Even, even if you're doing something kitschy, you have to believe in the music in order for that emotion to come across. Maria, ladies and gentlemen. Maria. What would Ennio Morricone think? I think he'd like it. Maybe one day we'll find out.